Uh, Circle Cinema turns 80 on July 15th of uh, 2008, and it will be, in fact, its 80th birthday, and they had a big opening at that time for the Circle because it was one of the first suburban-type theaters out from not being exactly downtown. The history of the theater was it opened as a suburban theater and did quite well for a long time, did very well with the Bond movies, things of that nature, kind of especially, and then it fell, uh, not into disrepair, it just went into various reigns to raise money when the multiplexes came in. It was a matter of survival. And it first went to Hispanic movies, uh, uh, Spanish movies. Then it went into, not pornography per se, but kind of soft core pornography. And that didn't work. And so subsequently they ended up with a nine year actual time that it set vacant, which is unusual for a lot of movie theaters in America of this age, didn't have an alternative use. It wasn't a drugstore or a quick trip or something in the meantime, because I've been kind of getting involved in this subject. I've explored. A lot of them didn't stay movie theaters, but this did, but it sat vacant for nine years, and that's when we took it over about five years ago. And it took about a year and a half to get the Circle 2 open, is which we're in right now, is Circle 2. And we're just about to sign the contract on Circle 1, hopefully yet this week. Uh, this is the new lobby to be, and actually this is the original theater. This is what the Circle Cinema was. We're right here are the entry doors, which will be the main entry doors now. We won't come in the other way. There'll only be one concession stand that'll be here. And what that will be accommodating, uh, where we left uh, the original lobby that we have now, the Circle 2, I mean not the lobby, but the theater, has 105, and we can crowd it up some to 110 or 15, depending on occasions, but usually 105. And then back here, we will have two screens, a 250 and a 125, with a shared projection, which is like case in point 35 mil, because it'll shoot out both ways, we can put 135 and shoot to 375 at a time. Well, the challenge is that we started the one side and we're rolling and going, and then we committed the other side and we had a contractor come on who had some certain stipulations about how to, because we're dealing with a 1928 building. And the gentleman did something wrong, or his crew did, and next thing you know, we had the wall coming down. And it not only jeopardized that, but it jeopardized kind of the neighborhood in that respect, that these brick buildings are somewhat aligned together. We find ourselves here in the projection room now, and one of the beauties of circles, we can show digital. We have DVD, we have VHS, we have Digicam. We have 35 mil, 8 mil, 16 mil. There's just not a thing we can't show. We're just not prepared to do double. It's called a projector to projector, a double thing. But we will have that capacity, we hope, in the other new theater as we get that open. Our biggest thing was to bring the best films possible as quickly as they're more or not less released in New York or Dallas, about the same time Dallas is getting them now, to Tulsa. Why should Tulsa be any less of a movie place than anywhere else in the world? Well, I think Tulsa has been very good. I mean, sure, we're all disappointed. They're not laying millions of dollars out here in front of us and say, please build. It doesn't work that way. But as a whole, Tulsa has been very, very responsible. And I think there's a proving period, and I think we've been through that. And it used to be when I go into a crowd and ask who'd been to the circle, I wouldn't get any hands raised. Pretty hard to find a, a crowd anymore. They've not only supported us in attendance, but we've had economic support too from several foundations and stuff that have made this thing more than just Clark or Terry or Circle Cinema. It's much bigger than that. And if it wasn't bigger than us, it wouldn't be worth doing. And what the Circle is, it, it is local in nature. We are alone, owned by local people and gives us that opportunity to do a bit further than just showing the film. And we try at least one out of every three films, more if we could, but to have a director, a producer, someone that makes that film more than just a film. We want to make it an experience. Welcome to the Circle Cinema. How many have never been here before? Oh, good number. Well, welcome. And those of you who have, welcome back. We're always glad to see full houses like we have this evening. The motivation of it is, in essence, that can we not only entertain with the best films available in the world, we're not limited to America, the best films in the world to show here, but in addition to educate in the process of doing that. And we think anybody leaves with the experience, especially the experience of watching a film and someone talking about it, they've learned a little more about something. And if that helps make life better for other people, then we've served our function, and that's what we're here for.